hello everyone welcome back to CAD tutorials for beginners and in this tutorial we will learn the wrap surface command in Katia v5 so let's open the generative shape design gsd in Katia v5 and we'll see the example of bellow design in Katia v5 so let's start designing the same so just click on the sketch positioning and we'll create one sketch on the top plane just click on ok after aligning the axis and select the center rectangle so create this rectangle and provide the dimensions to that so just keep it to 150 mm and provide the vertical dimension again i will provide the same as 150 mm and after that uh, provide the radius for that and i will just select the complete sketch over here you can see the points are selected and here we will add 25 mm and just click on ok click on ok so you can see the radius is applied to all the four points and after that exit the workbench so once you exit the workbench uh, here will again sorry let's exit it and will sketch on the front plane now just click on the front plane and click ok so here take a axis here and here you can you can just simply select this and select this face over here and you can make it to coincidence so that it will get connected and again i will click on the normal view to align it properly and now you use the profile command and create a simple bellow structure over here escape and here we will provide the angle let's provide 45 degree and again we'll just sorry we'll provide the radius over here as well make it to 4 4 4 mm and i will just provide one more dimension over here let's add 35 and one more we will provide the angle over here 22.5 and now we, we will just translate this profile along this vertical line so just select this first select this complete profile and in the translation you can just select select this translate option and here you can add the instances keep this as 24 or whatever you like select this point and this edge over here so you can see the complete profile is translated and now i will just exit the workbench so once after after this exit we'll use of the uh, sweep command select the sweep just select this sweep so the first profile is selected then provide this guide so once you click on preview you can see the preview here and click ok so now we will just hide this sketch and we will create the the end portion of this bellow and now we will just extract the boundary over here so click on the boundary in the operation tab select this boundary and click on ok so after that uh, use the extrude command and select this boundary for the extrude and select the direction as z direction and you can provide this length approximately ok after that again uh, we'll use the extrude command for extrusion over here keep on the reverse direction and click ok so now we have this bellow created now we will just join these three surfaces three different surfaces 
so surface one surface two and then this surface so we'll join this so hide this boundary so click on the uh, join option and select this surface this surface and this surface just click ok so now you can see uh, the join is operation is successful and uh, this is the complete single surface now so now we will provide the edge fillet over here just select the edge fillet and provide it at this points similarly we will provide the edge fillet on this bottom side so just first hide this one because the sketch is selecting instead of the edge just hide it and now once more we will select this and you can select this edge over here select this edge and we will keep this as 5 mm uh, just increase it little bit so make it to 10 sorry click on ok so now uh, this bellow is completed and now we will move it for the illustration of wrap surface command so here we will create two more surfaces first is the reference surface and the second one is the target surface so again just click on the isometric view here and now on the front plane we will create one plane so here again select the rectangle create a rectangular surface over here just click on ok approximate size and here we will use the fill command so just fill it and just click on ok ok so for better understanding we will just change the color of it go to the right click and properties and here we will provide this color or you can provide the pink color over here after that again we will create one more plane over here select the side plane and make a plane offset from it let's say 350 mm and now sketch over it just click on ok and we will create a simple cover over, over here with a spine just escape it and exit the workbench so now uh, again use this extrude command and keep it on the mirror and let's add over here 150 mm so you can just increase this distance as well 500 and now again uh, we will change the color of it to pink and click on ok so now we will hide this and again you can hide this as well ok so now go to this option that is wrap surface and here we need to select the surface to deform so we need to deform this surface and our reference surface is this one so select this surface as a reference surface and the target surface so this is the target surface so select this one and create a wrap type as normal and click on preview so you can see the preview of it and just click on ok so now you can see uh, the surface is deformed with reference to this target surface so we will just make it show the edge fillet and you can see the difference with the help of wrap surface how the surface is deformed with respect to this reference surface and this target surface so again if you try to change this profile over here the shape is going to be varied so again just i will make a random change in this curve and you can see the change is applied to this 
surface just hide this one and after that hide this one so now you can again uh, change the parameters at any any point of time you can just change to 600 and it will modify it accordingly so thank you for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it and practice the same if you have any issues you can add it in the comment box below thank you thank you for watching